Mike for Wine Weirdos. Christopher. Let's check out the Beekeeper's Infidel. It's out of the Rockpile Appalachian in Sonoma County. Excellent. Looking forward to this. We've had some Zins out of the Sonoma County that we've adored. Yep. So we're, we're getting excited here. Clay Mortson and Ian Blackburn are the winemakers. Ian is a really important name in uh, the wine world here in Los Angeles. He does the Learn About Wine brand, which is incredible. Yes, educational events and affordable dinners. We've been to dinners that were great values. Incredible value. And so we're checking out this 2011 Beekeeper. What's it doing on the nose? Massive toward driven aromatics. Mm -hmm. The fruit uh, is just like crushed raspberry, plum, blackberry with loads and loads of chocolatey earth. Like someone just macerated chocolate and earth together. What's it doing on the palate? That earth and the minerality is carrying through on the palate. A little bit of chalkiness. Really wonderful, bold fruit. There's a spiciness to this wine mm -hmm. as well. This is very complex for a young Zinfandel. The petites <laughs> are raw. About 25% of it that's added in is really intense. It's quite tannic. Ooh. Wonderful wine, though. I, we've been drinking this all afternoon, and, and I must say, this is one of the better Zinfandels that I've had from this area. Yeah, the grip is present. It's a little on the young side, but seeing that, it's not like mouth puckering. Mm -hmm. And you were smacking your lips there. Yeah, you were talking incredible. about This is mouth watering. It's just like my mouth. Every gland is opening up and receiving this. Mm -hmm. The fruit is explosive. It's a monster. But mm -hmm. everything's pretty much balanced for a big 15% zin. And I'm, it's quite structured for a California Absolutely. Zin. Like the minerals, the slate minerals and the soil are just coming through and rounding things out. And the tannin, the grip, is it's a little tight, mm -hmm. but it's keeping everything together. It's mm -hmm. very, very pleasing wine, I believe. Well, who gave it a 96? <laughs> this is a wine connoisseur's guy. Yeah. gave it a 96, and I must say they're pretty on point here. This is remarkable wine, especially for the 11 vintage. Huge happy face. I can imagine this with pizza. You would be living large. Or better yet, yeah, laying it down for five to seven years to mm -hmm. get into a very, very fine restaurant. This is Michelin star quality wine. Brilliant stuff from Ian and Clay. Good stuff. We'll be back with more on Wine Weirdos. Cheers. Cheers.